Hello, as Southern Californians, most of us have been around the ocean having experienced fishing. Some of us have been fishing with our pops since we were young. Others, maybe a weekend or two out with friends. Some of those trips don't produce any fish. You question whether it's your gear or your bait. Well, today, I'm here to show you guys how to catch your own bait. First, I'm going to show you guys what gear you need. Then, I'm going to show you how to use it properly and set it up correctly. And then, I'm going to show you the results. So to go over the gear list, one of the main items that we're going to need is this umbrella net. So the umbrella net must be 36 inches by 36 inches at a maximum. That's what the umbrella looks like when it's fully rigged up. So it's very simple to rig up. All you need to do is put these inside of this metal piece. and attach the rope on top and it's that simple to set up your five gallon bucket you must have a live bait aerator which runs on batteries and this will keep your bait fish alive and the little net for catching your fish you're also going to need a smaller bucket preferably around two gallons in order to get water from the pier Lastly, you will need a loaf of bread, which will serve as an attractant to the fish that you're planning to catch as live bait. The best time to go catch these live baits would be either in the morning or in the afternoon. This is because according to the Department of Fishing Game, these fish usually feed in the morning or in the afternoon. So now that we got all this in order, and you know what gear you need to bring in order to accomplish this, we're going to head over to Belmont Pier to catch some fish. We'll see you there. So we arrived here at Beaumont Pier and we're ready to catch some bait. So here let me show you guys exactly how to do it. So what you want to do is how I showed you before. You want to put the pieces in the middle so that you can get it fully rigged up. So according to the fishing game, it's legal to use an umbrella net to catch bait fish as long as it's under the dimensions of 36 by 36. Okay, so now it's set up and now we're going to show you how to rig some bait on there in order to have the fish get attracted. Before you even dip it in the water, you, need, you want to have your bait holding system set up as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this bucket with water in order to get some water to put the bait in to keep it alive. You swing it in order for you to be able to flip it and get some water in there. Make sure you don't use a big bucket because then it's really heavy to bring it up. So then what you want to do is you want to fill a bigger bucket and that's going to be your actual holding tank. So you do it one more time just to get, make sure you have enough water in there. Okay, so that's a good amount of water already. So once we have the water ready, what you want to do is you want to grab your live bait aerator and this is what's going to provide oxygen into the water in order to keep your fish alive. So you just put it inside and then you turn it on and it's going to start bubbling. You know it's on if you can hear it or see the bubbles as well okay so once you have that you're ready to go and we're gonna show you how to rake up the bait on your net so what you want to do next is you want to get your bread get about four or five slices make sure it's sandwich bread because it's a lot easier you just want to make sure that you wet the bread and then you ball up the bread so that it becomes like one big piece make sure that you get it consistent so once you have your bread, you'll know it's ready when it's like Play-Doh. Make sure that it's thoroughly moist and then we're ready to start the next step, which is going to be putting it on the net. Put your bread on the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll it into like a sausage bun and then you're going to wrap it around that top piece so that it goes around. You pack it into itself and make sure that it's sticky enough that it'll hold in that area. If you have any excess bread, you should loop it down toward the bottom. So 
So once you have your equipment set up, what you want to do is find an area that seems ideal. Scout the area that you're working with. If you don't see any bait, what you want to do is generally stick close to certain structures. So you want to stay relatively close to the shore as well because uh, bait fish prefer shallow water. If it doesn't work the first time, you can always move around. So throw it the net over. So as you can see, we're pretty close to this piling here. You should be close to some structure because they tend to hide in structures. So you don't want to put it too low. So as you can see, it's right under the surface. Okay, so make sure you can still see the bread. Leave it for 10, 15 minutes and then tie it to this pier. So just any normal knot will do. Okay, so just like that. So then you just let it set for a little while. And what you can do is you can be rigging up your, your rods. We'll save that one for another video. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and check our net. So as mentioned before, you wanna bring it up really slowly and carefully, make sure that it's steady so that you don't scare the fish away. And you see, there we go. So it's as simple as that. As you can see, there's quite a few in there. From there, you can take your pick or you can just hold them for a little while. They'll stay alive in your bait bucket for a long time. So you just throw them in there and then um, you're ready to pick and choose whichever ones you want and throw them out as bait. And you just choose a bigger size. It's a little bit bigger is ideal, around two, three inches and then um, happy fishing. So as you can see, we're still out here. We finally caught our first fish. Let me show you guys something real quick. So it's on this one. It might be on. So we're on. So that's the effectiveness of the light bait. So this is too small, but you would want to catch something that's a little bit bigger, around 22 inches. So we're going to throw this bad boy back in the water. As you saw, fishing with light bait is very effective. I hope that you learned something from this video and maybe use this trick in order to catch better fish. See you on the water.